When you go and look at the night sky, do you know that you are looking into the past? You are looking backwards in time when you look at those stars. Actually, it's quite interesting. Let me explain it how. How do you hear any sound? Sound waves from the source reach your ear and you hear the sound. How do you see anything? Light rays from the source, they fall onto your eyes. Your eye collects those light rays and forms an image in the back end. And that's how we see, right? But if you observe during the thunderstorms, you see the lightning first and then hear the sound after a few seconds. And even familiar example is during the Diwali fireworks. You see these rockets, they fly into the night sky and they burst. You see this beautiful light all over and then after a few seconds you hear the sound from the blast. This is because light travels much faster than sound. Sound speed is just 348 meters per second. That's not even half kilometer per second. But the light travels at a speed of 3 lakhs kilometers per second. That's why the minute the lightning occurs or the light from the, uh, from the rocket in Diwali, you see it right away. There is no delay. The minute you turn the light on in your room, you see it. There is no delay. The per a person sitting next to you, a standing next to you, smiles and you right away see it. There is no delay because light travels at an astonishing speed of 3 lakhs kilometers per second. But what if the light takes some time to reach your eyes? I mean, when the distances are longer for light to travel. Let's take our sun for example. Light from the sun takes 8 minutes 32 seconds to reach the earth. That means if you go out now and look at the sun, light rays from the sun that are falling on your eyes started from the sun about 8 minutes ago and now hitting the earth, hitting your eye. That means you are looking at the sun as it was 8 minutes ago. It's like someone showing you a picture of the sun that has been taken 8 minutes ago. So you are looking at the sun as it was 8 minutes ago. If the sun disappears now, there will be light for another 8 minutes or so. And after that, it will be all dark. Now what's even more interesting is, when you go out and look at the night sky, when you look at those stars, light from those stars has been traveling for a long time to reach the earth. How long? Let's take the pole star for example, or the nor north star or Polaris in Ursa Minor constellation just opposite to Ursa Major constellation. Light from that pole star takes about 433 years to reach the Earth. That means the pole star is about 433 light years away from the Earth. That means if you go out tonight and look at that star, the light that is falling onto your eyes has started from the pole star 433 years before and now reaching the earth and falling onto your eyes. That means you are looking at that pole star as it was 433 years ago. It's as if you, you are looking at a picture of the pole star that has been taken 433 years ago. You don't know how that star looks now. Likewise, the star Alilam in the Orion constellation is about 1340 light years away from the Earth. That means if you go out tonight and look at the Alilam star in the Orion constellation, the light rays that are falling on your eyes started from that star 1340 years ago before even we were born when all those kings and kingdoms were there and now reaching the earth, reaching the eyes. So that means you are looking at that star as it was 1340 years ago. It's as if someone took a picture of the star Alilam and showing you after 1340 years. So you are looking into the past. You are looking at a picture of that star 
that has been taken thousands of years ago. Likewise, we have stars that are like millions and millions of light years away from the Earth in the night sky in the universe. So when you look at the night sky and look at those stars, all you are looking at is how they looked some hundreds and thousands and millions of years ago. You don't know how they look now. Some stars might have died, others might have exploded, we don't know. So when you look at the night sky and all those stars, you are looking at a picture of the past. You are looking backwards in time. You are looking into the past.